but life goes on. Bumping my head against the wall, learning right from wrong. They say my ghetto instrumental, detrimental to kids, as if they can't see the music. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another beer review. Uh, another monkish beer review, and I'm really, really pumped on this one. Um, this is my ghetto instrumental, just detrimental to kids. 8.2% uh, alcohol by volume, double IPA uh, from Monkish. This is, uh, I think it's just like Eldorado and Citra Hop. I can't remember. This beer was canned on uh, June 16th, which was Tupac's birthday. My Ghetto Instrumental is a line from the song Crazy from the Machiavelli album, which I think Crazy is my favorite song on that album. We always talk about like the Mount Rushmore of hip hop. For me, Tupac was the greatest rapper of all time. Um, and every time we go to Reno, we start drinking beers and talking about like who the Mount Rushmore of hip hop is. I can't figure out my fourth, um, <laughs> my fourth rapper. I have Tupac, Biggie, Eminem, and I think my fourth is probably Nas. I'm not sure. I always go back and forth. My buddy Gary, his fourth is Andre 3000, which I can't get mad at that. But yeah, um, they released this on his birthday. This was I was trying to get this. This was a super small um, release. It was 80 cases, so it was one four four pack per person. So people weren't giving these up. Um, and in the last week, I posted a trade, and my man Joshua hooked it up. So thank you so much, sir. I really really appreciate it. So yeah, let's get into this one. I just got this yesterday. So this is what six weeks old, something like that. But yeah, gotta gotta get a Tupac beer. I think we talked about that when we reviewed Biggie 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 if Muckish was going to do a Tupac main beer, and they did, so awesome. Good on you, Muckish. Uh, this pour is like pineapple juice, and there is a finger of like an off-white, just really fluffy, fluffy head using that boombox proper glassware, because you got to do that when, you, when you're when uh, you reviewing the hip-hop song beers, right? Let's go ahead and chip our nose in this one. It smells like orange juice. Very, very citrus-forward. And again, it has that, like, it's like orange hard candy. Man, I don't know, like, how much or how, you know, hops they use in this. It's not like a double dry hop beer or anything, but for being six weeks old, it is still very much aromatic. It's still pretty green, too. There's, like, that green herbaceous, like, just think of cutting fresh herbs. But it is. It's very much, like, crazy, like, orange tangerine juice. Um, a little bit of, like, kind of white bready malty thing underneath the the hop aroma it's got a little bit of like dank earthy thing too it smells killer so let's go ahead and taste it joshua cheers bro thank you sir yeah that's i mean it's orange juice it's dank orange juice there's like pithy orange peel too that's like right on the middle of your tongue when you when you swallow that um, and finishes there's a nice amount of bitterness on the finish but it just it, it's like orange the whole way through crazy there is though there's a good amount of it's still gosh I mean canned beers right I always talk about how canned beers they just I feel like they I don't want to say age because this isn't that old but they age well they keep their, like, the the hop profile that the beer is, you know, brewed. And if you had this on tap, obviously, this would be much more intense first day. But I still think that beers that sit in cans, if they're stored cold, they, they hold up well. This is fantastic. It is. The best way to describe it, it's, like, dank, resinous orange juice. It is. It's, it's like, sweet kind of tangerine-y orange. Think like that, like, Minute Maid kind of Tropicana orange tangerine juice and it just it stays orange the whole time and then like mid palate to finish it you get that like citrusy pithy bitterness um, and that bitterness stays the whole time too good amount of bitterness on this one um, but again it kind of balances out all that orange juices up front um, and monkish does that it's just their beers are so balanced they're not they're not um, one or the other it's not a juice bomb, and it's also not like that crazy, dank, bitter West Coast style that you're used to. This is very uh, easy drinking for 8.2%. You don't smell booze or taste it, so really, really good stuff. Mouth feels a little... It, it, this isn't as like full of a mouthfeel on this one, um, but that makes it kind of easier to drink. Yeah, it's like a medium minus mouthfeel. I mean, nothing crazy. The carbonation's awesome, though. It's just... Like it's it's very enjoyable to drink if that makes sense. 
But yeah, if you like oranges, you're stoked on this beer. If you like dank, pithy, citrus orange, this beer is for you. Really, really good. I mean, it's an A beer, 97, 98. Nothing that's like, holy shit, this is mind blowing, but again, they just make super duper solid beers. This beer is fantastic, so yeah, I'm gonna go 98 on this one. Uh, that's my ghetto instrumental from Monkish. If you guys had it, leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought of it. Um, and who, like, we could talk about that too. Who would you put on the hip hop Mount Rushmore? Who are the top four rappers ever? I think Nas is my fourth one, so I don't know. I can think about it more. It's fun to talk about. No, but it's there's no wrong answers is, is the good thing. So, yeah, that's it. I'm out of here. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys very soon. Cheers. When life goes on, bumping my head against the wall, learning right from wrong. They say my ghetto instrumental, just the middle of the kids, as if they can't see the